Hi, in this video we'll learn how to subtract a fraction from a whole number using a regrouping strategy. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to regroup our whole number. I can write 9 as 8 plus 1. Let's say if you have a 7 over here, you can write 7 as 6 plus 1. Let's say if you have 11 over here, so you can write 11 as 10 plus 1. If you have 5 over here, you can write that as 4 plus 1. So basically, all you do is you regroup your whole number. So uh, 9 is 8 plus 1, and then I have this fraction. Take away 4 sevenths. And you can see that I did not change the value of my problem. It's still the same. Now, the next step is we need to convert our one whole as a fraction. So, I can write 1 as 2 over 2, or I can write 1 as 3 over 3. I can write 1 as 4 over 4, right? I can write 1 as 5 over 5, and so on. Now, I will change this 1 as 7 over 7. I'll write this one as 7 over 7, and I'll, I'll tell you why I'm doing that. So I'll leave 8 as it is, and we have a plus sign, and then I'll write this one as 7 over 7. Now, why did I select 7? Why did I choose 7? Why not 4 over 4, or 3 over 3, or maybe 8 over 8? Well, the 7 comes from here, from my denominator. The 7 comes from the denominator. Since I want to have the same denominator, see, I want to have the common denominator in order to subtract the fractions. If I don't have a common denominator, then I'll have to find a common denominator. Let's say if I choose 5 over 5, then this denominator is 7. So let's write here minus 4 over 7. So let's say if I have 5 over 5 here, then we cannot subtract these two fractions because they will they have a different denominator. But right now, in this case, since I'm writing this as 7 over 7, I can easily subtract these two fractions because I have a common denominator here. So that's why I have chosen 7 over 7. Let's say if you have a denominator of 8, you're going to write this as 8 over 8. So make sure you have a common denominator when you rewrite your a uh, whole number one in the form of a fraction. Now this is very simple. All we need to do is to leave our whole number as it is and then subtract the two fractions. So I'll leave my whole number eight as it is plus, now I can subtract these fractions. Seven sevenths minus four sevenths will give me three sevenths. The seven minus four is three and when we subtract the fractions, we don't change the denominator. And I can write 8 plus 3 sevenths as 8 and 3 sevenths. So that's how you subtract a fraction from a whole number using regrouping strategy. I hope you find this video helpful. That's all in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to this channel and want to see more videos on other math topics, be sure to subscribe down below and share it with your friends. See you in next video.